The Aero L-39 series of advanced jet trainer and light strike aircraft followed along the same lines as its predecessor, the L-29, Delphin, detailed elsewhere on this site, in terms of development. Designed just three years after the successful L-29 became the frontline advanced trainer for the Soviet Union and associated bloc countries, the L-39 emerged in prototype form and recorded its first flight on November 4, 1968 prior to introduction with the Czechoslovakian Air Force in 1972. From then on, the aircraft was equally accepted and successful in the training of a new generation of pilots for the Soviet Empire and its satellite states and supporters. Total production exceeding 3,000 aircraft from 1971 to 1999. It became the first turbofan-powered trainer to enter serial production. Designed in 1987, the Airbus A340 was introduced in 1993 with carrier Lufthansa in 1993. Its internal layout used two aisles among its passenger seating arrangement. The original A340-200 series was a long-range model and featured a shortened fuselage. The A340-300 then appeared in 1996 and this model was marketed for short-range operations with its stretched fuselage. Both were powered by two XCFM International CFM 56-5C turbofan engines. Following the A340-300 were the A340-500 and A340-600 models, each with increasing operational ranges. Both became longer-range solutions with uprated engines, Rolls-Royce Trent 500 turbofans, and stretched fuselages, the A340-600 holding the longest length of the entire A340 family of four. The AS350 was originally designed to replace the aging Sud Aviation Aerospatial Alouette II light utility helicopter series. The AS350 appeared first under the Aerospatial brand label but is now known under the Eurocopter name. First flight was achieved on June 26, 1974 with introduction of the system taking place in 1975. The helicopter has been in production ever since and has become a fixture in the inventories of dozens of nations around the world. The AS350 maintains an impressive streamlined appearance. The pilot and optional co-pilot are seated in the forward portion of the fuselage with excellent visibility forward, below, above and to the sides. Entry is via a hinged automobile-style door. The passenger cabin, with room for six, offers hinged doors to either side of the fuselage with large windows. The Turbomeca power plant sits atop and to the rear of the passenger cabin with exhaust jettisoned out through a cylindrical system aft. The rotor mast fits the main rotor high away from the fuselage and is made up of a three-bladed main rotor system. The empennage, adding to the AS350's distinct look, is long and slender and sports horizontal planes at about midway. The tail section is made up of a dorsal vertical tail fin with a shorter ventral fin below. The tail rotor sits to the starboard side of the aircraft. The undercarriage features a fixed skid arrangement. In 1988, a joint Spanish-Indonesian endeavor introduced the high-winged CN-235, propeller-driven tactical transport aircraft and 273 were eventually built under the CASA IPTN brand label. A new initiative then saw the twin turboprop system revised into the C-295 with a lengthened fuselage, six whole frames added, three forward and three aft, which has increased internal hauling capacity by 50%. To contend with the added weight gains, new Pratt & Whitney PW-127G series turboprops have been installed, the wings reinforced, and the undercarriage strengthened. 
Additional fuel stores have also been added to increase operational ranges. The cockpit uses four LCDs, liquid crystal displays, and supports NVG, night vision gear, and HUDs, head-up displays. The C-295 began development in November of 1996 and was unveiled during the Paris Air Show the following year with introduction in 2001 through the Spanish Air Force. The aircraft remains in active service with over a dozen air forces the world over. A prototype first flew on November 28, 1997 to prove the design sound and production has been ongoing since 1997 with over 100 units delivered.